Situated in historic Waitsfield, Vermont, the Round Barn and Inn that bears its name take visitors back to a bygone era. It's an inn on 245 acres in the Sugarbush Mad River Valley. I would describe it as a, uh, as, as a home, to, away from home, uh, with all of the comforts, the friendliness and the warmth, but none of the work. We have a 12-room bed and breakfast. We've got the historic round barn, which has all of the banquet facilities. Terrific facilities, terrific grounds uh, that people can just enjoy. We like to say that, that, that what we offer here is, is Vermont in its purest form. It's, it's, uh, it's got the history of the Vermont dairy farms. Um, as the guest, you have an opportunity to come in and actually experience some of what we do. Uh, as, as a farm was a hundred years ago. We're lucky enough to have around us two very large farms that keep this land undeveloped and keep it as pristine and beautiful it is, as it is. Built in 1910 by Clem Jocelyn, the round barn was used for dairy purposes until 1969. Jack and Doreen Simcoe purchased the property in 1986 and painstakingly restored the farmhouse into the current 12 guest room inn and the people that wanted to sell it were interested in selling it. The Jocelyns interviewed us and wanted to make sure that we were the people who should have their home that they'd lived in for so long. When we bought it, we, my wife and I looked at each other and we were buying it for a house and then we realized that it was too big for a house and we said to ourselves, well, it'd be fun doing a bed and breakfast. We thought the most important thing to do was to restore the farmhouse back to its original state. We worked off of photographs that had been taken between 1810 and 1850. Uh, the, the original farmhouse was just the tiny little cape which exists in the lobby of the inn. We said, let's go for it. So we put a new foundation under the whole building and uh, we completely renovated the inside with new rooms, new walls, new partitions, new plumbing. So basically we kept the outside as it was. In 1988, the Simcoe's turned their attention to the historic barn. The round barn aspect was actually a shaker design and they felt um, it was their belief that uh, devils could only get you in the corners. So if you had a round barn, you didn't have a corner for a devil to get you into. There were 45 round barns in Vermont in the 1900s. There are seven left in the state. And that's because they all fell into disrepair. The hardest part is to find something that's broken down and to be able to have the vision to recreate the barn and turn it into what it is. Five additional guest rooms were created in 1992 in the former horse barn, which, in the Vermont tradition, was conveniently connected to the house. Each of the 12 rooms are named after Waitsfield's earliest settlers, whose descendants still reside in the valley today. It is not uncommon for repeat guests to schedule their stay around the availability of a favorite room, which are all charmingly decorated and feature canopied beds, fireplaces, and panoramic views. The Barnard Room, which isn't one of the largest, but is also is one of the most unusual. Uh, I was inspired to redecorate that room after returning from Hawaii. A beautiful Copeland Furniture bed, which the Copeland Furniture Company is uh, based right here in Vermont, and um, a little different from the rest of the rooms. We call it our untraditional guest room. The Jocelyn Room is, is a great room. It's on the lower right-hand uh, front of, of the inn and it's a very Victorian, rich uh, looking room. The Abbott Room is the newest room in the inn. We added it just a few years ago because people were looking for bigger, more exciting rooms. It has a wonderful oversized jacuzzi tub. Guests enjoy a hearty breakfast and the country atmosphere in the inn's dining room, which overlooks the magnificently landscaped grounds. Our breakfasts are well-renowned. Uh, people come here and they comment on the breakfast all the time. A lot of love, a lot of care is brought into the making of our breakfasts. We use as many natural ingredients uh, as we can, uh, all the Vermont products that we possibly can. 
to, uh, to enhance their Vermont experience. With the Mad River Glen and Sugarbush Ski Resorts minutes away, visitors take advantage of world-class skiing and snowboarding, the less adventurous cross-country ski and snowshoe on the grounds of the inn. The beauty here of Vermont and how it changes over the course of the year just always has a special hold on me, as it does on our guests. And our guests will comment many times. Um, in the fall, um tends to be older couples who are driving around looking at the foliage and they may go to Montpelier or they may be go going to Stowe. Many different guests come for different reasons. Everybody has a different reason to come, uh, mostly to relax, uh, some to propose, some to have anniversaries. Uh, the gardens evolved because of the water. Uh, and this is in a, a fairly wet area and we had a lot of wet ground. So it was necessary for me to create the ponds to eliminate the water and to be able to fill in. The swans and the ducks and other wildlife uh, tend to keep a good balance in the pond. One of the nicest things for me as a gardener is very early in the spring when uh, things are just starting to stir and new plants are pushing their way out of the ground. And it's an exciting season after a long winter time to see everything regenerating itself each year. Relaxing amidst the bucolic setting of flowers, ponds, meadows, and mountains, guests are able to leave worries of the fast-paced 21st century far behind.